Hello and welcome to this tutorial video for the Stinger Transitions. Now, I am Big TFX. You may have also received an actual transition for myself. And this is basically how to take that transition you've been given by whoever or you've made yourself and how to actually make it with, work with OBS. So we're going to quickly go ahead and open OBS in a moment. And you'll notice at the moment you have I have actually got it here. But I'm going to show you how to do it as if I didn't. So very simply put, you've got this link that is in the below. Now this is the Stinger Transitions, uh, you literally can just type in, if you really can't be bothered to do it, it's just Stinger Transition, oh, Transition OBS, and it is literally the very first one. And you've got it here, you click download, um, and what it'll do, it'll give you this, uh, which is a Stinger Transitions folder. Now what you'll do is you'll go to my computer, you'll go to your C drive, where the OBS is, and you'll find it here. Now if I open this, You'll notice that you open them both up, you've got this, data and OBS, data and OBS. Now, this bit won't change for you uh, on my screen because I've already done it, but you basically can either copy and paste or cut and paste. So, Control C, so copy, and do like that, and paste. And what it will do, it will come up with, are you sure you want to do this? You may need an admin privilege. You click yes, yes, yes until it's happy. Um, it, in essence, is going to merge every single piece of uh, information from this folder, which you'll see is actually not a lot, um, and actually merge it into that. That's some, for some reason I've deleted it from there. My bad. Um, and then what you will do is you'll close OBS, you'll open up OBS again, um, while my phone stops buzzing. There we go. And you'll open up OBS again. You'll click here on the add, and you'll add Stinger Transitions. I'm going to call this Transition 1. Now, You'll see at the moment I've just got random scene 1, scene 2, scene 3. I've had to switch to an SSD uh, literally overnight, so all my files aren't set up perfectly, which means you're currently looking at an unset up OBS Pro. So it's, it's not all the scenes I'd need. So I'm just doing some random videos in there. So you're going to go ahead and browse. Um, we're gonna, I've already made it and put it on my desktop. Um, it's um, hit the transitions. Random names, I know, but just go, <laughs> go with it. So, one here I've created is a glitch one. Um, so, I'm going to start with a different one just to give you an idea of what actually is going on here. So, you clicked it, it's on transition one, you're happy. You click scene, and you realize the transition happens. But it happens way, way too late. You click it again, and it, it happens randomly. Like, what's going on? Very simply put, um, you actually have it set up where it automatically transitions here as soon as you click it. Now you want to change it so it matches, I reckon about a third of the way in. So click again, it'll do the transition. Oh, you did see it cut slightly there. So we want to go ahead and make it a little bit finer. Go to properties, move it along, bloody blah, blah, do it again, and you'll see, uh, you're very close. You're very close. About there. You switch to the next one, perfect. Switch to the next one, perfect. Switch to the next one, perfect. Again, just random videos I've literally just whacked off my old hard drive. Now, you can then, if you want to change it, you go back to the cog, you click properties, you click on the browse, you change it. And then you change the next one, and you realize it doesn't switch till too late. Again, properties, and this one will probably be one you have to do about there, maybe. There we go. Probably could do with being a little bit... Uh, a little bit later, to be fair. Yeah, there you go. Even, even possibly even a little bit later, but you'll get the idea. So this is, in essence, how you get the uh, Stinger Transition set up on your scene. Any queries, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If I've sent you here by a DM, you can message back on the DM. I'll go ahead and respond. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll speak to you soon.